making a javelin out of the steel pipe. You gotta be able to grip it good. Cause I looked it up. They're long. So we're gonna fucking throw the fucker. Maybe break a world record, who knows? Probably not. USA Olympics, let's go. The 100 meter dash. One of the biggest events in the decathlon, one would assume. Every race has a starting line, a finish line. How'd I do, bud? Proud of me? Your owner's an Olympian. All right, we're at some shut down volleyball courts. We're gonna do the event that is called the long jump. It's all about the approach, according to the one video I watched. I think that was a pretty good one. This event definitely has a lot of hurdles. It's the hurdles. I had to make my own hurdles. So we got chairs, got a bench, another folding chair, another bench, and a couple of hay bales. That's hard. Yeah, we're about to put the high in high jump. High jump's a pain in the ass. This seems like it's gonna be good. Yeah, I guess the reason the pole vault is the hardest event because I don't have any of the right materials or equipment for it. This is the top of a chain link fence. Oh, fuck. Oh, God damn it. Ah. Seeing stars. That's part of what Olympic training is like, I guess. You have your ups and downs. Sometimes you hit your head on the grass. Missed the mattress. 400 meters is difficult because it's a quarter mile. You basically have to sprint the whole time. Woo! Gets ya. Shot put is one of the dopest events in the decathlon because it's like you're just throwing a big ass heavy ball. It's very primal. Uh, they use a lead ball, that's how it can be so small and still heavy but the only thing i could find that was in approximation to the weight uh is this 16 pound reggie miller bowling ball ah. 1500 it's a lot of meters Blah. Now we're doing that discus, which is like an ancient Greek version of Frisbee. It's supposed to weigh 4.4 pounds. So as you can see, we got a two and a half pound weight. <coughs> we got a couple rocks and now we're just gaff taping it up. Craziest thing about discus is like, you could be the greatest discus guy in the world and, you know, live in complete anonymity. Wouldn't it be crazy if I found out that I was the greatest discus thrower in the world. Wouldn't it just be insane if we found out that I am the LeBron James of discus throwing? You know, somehow I kind of doubt it. But we're still going to do our best. Over here at the power plant, City of Austin substation. Um, where I believe a lot of the greatest discus throwers in town probably train. So the grip is important, but I didn't uh, look to see what the grip was like. Shoulder flex and a big part of it. Hell yeah, and it broke. Hell yeah, it broke the discus. Like, see you do that. Mister, I'm the best discus thrower in the world.